Welcome back to another casted game featuring Beastie Cutie playing as the Abbasid Dynasty, opening up here with a scout first versus Recon, who is playing as the Holy Roman Empire, aka the HRE. Now, both these players are top 25. Recon's currently ranked 22, with Beastie Cutie being ranked 16. So this is truly at the top of the ladder and could be anyone's game here. Two civilizations that are kind of off meta picks, not the most popular options. Uh, but of course, you know me, I've always got to follow a good Abbasid game or HRE. So let's see what happens here. Um, BC, hopefully looking to get pick some uh, extra uh, sheep up with that additional scout. We'll see if he uses it for any harassment as we know that the uh, the scout animation cancel is a, a popular thing. Let's see if he does it. You see him splitting his villagers there on the sheep. This helps him get his food a little bit faster and building this network here out towards the gold. There we go, that House of Wisdom coming down right now with that, what villager number is that for him? He's building that with his eighth villager that came out of that town center. Now, you get the Golden Age with the uh, Abyssey Dynasty. You can see the, that upgrade. You get this by connecting buildings. So you see that little like glow around them? Right now he's got four connected buildings, technically. Uh, so, or, is it, or maybe this counts as three connected buildings, I think. I can't remember if like the actual House of Wisdom of itself counts. I never really thought about it. Or the towns. Let's see what it counts it as here. Okay, so it counts as three. So I guess it doesn't count the House of Wisdom itself. So there you have it. At ten, he'll get the first one. Huh. Never really thought about it, but there you go. Uh, meanwhile, we've got lots of sheep being gathered right now with the additional scout. Let's see how Recon's doing. He's got two sheep. And he's microing his prelate for the HRE. He can uh, he can walk out and he can uh, inspire the villagers. You see there, and when they get inspired, they get additional. Uh, they gather resources forty percent faster. So there you go. So uh, he's getting. Uh, they're getting boosted, and he micros that prelate between the food villagers and the gold villagers uh, in order to boost those rates. And then in the second age, he'll build that Aachen Chapel. Uh, as the landmark, and then he can garrison and have that area effect uh, inspiration. Okay, we might be about to see some scout shenanigans. Will we see an animation cancel here? Uh, not yet. He's just going for the sheep. He might wait till he gets the second scout in the game there. Okay, so it does look like it's time for Recon to age up, and he's building his Aachen Chapel. I really like this placement. Why is this a good placement? So this landmark, well, you can see there, give inspiration within this radius once the prelate is garrisoned. And with here, you can see it's, uh, um, it will touch the wood line. It'll touch the berries. It'll touch the sheep under the town center if he goes for stone. And if he goes to farms later on, he has plenty of space right now around this that you, that you kind of want to strategically build your farms around this landmark. He could maybe leave a little bit more space, but uh, this, is, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Anyways, just some tactics you can do there with the Aachen Chapel, continuing to get the inspiration. Unless he was going on for Beastie Cutie, aging up, of course, with that economic wing. Why? You get the fresh food stuffs. Costs 125 gold or 50 food, and it will give you villagers at half the cost. So instead of costing 50, they will cost 25 food. We'll see if he moves these villagers off of the gold once he gets that 125 gold. Sometimes people do, sometimes people don't. But. Um, it does look like he is going for an, a town center expansion. Very popular for the Abyssinian Dynasty to do this. He's going to get 400 wood and 300 stone in order to do that. Where will he put his town center? I'd imagine either like right here. You want him to get the berries usually underneath him. Uh, or could maybe build it by the wood. But I expect it will be somewhere by these berries most likely. We'll have to see. Okay, Beastie bringing back some more sheep at the moment. Uh... Working on finishing the Aachen Chapel. Now, sometimes HRE will go for the advanced scouts and bring in the deer and then go for a fast castle. So we'll see if he opens up with the stable here in the second age. Uh, and then i also be curious to see how Beastie counters this. Uh, he's, he's indicating he's going for a second town center, so probably not very aggressive. He, he is building a barracks, so perhaps he'll train a few spearmen. But uh, we'll have to see. Let's watch and see what recon drops down. There you go, garrisoning that scholar. You can see now all of these villagers getting boosted. And he drops. Oh, he started to build a stable and then he canceled it. Second thoughts. He's building it over here. Wonder why he decided to cancel it from that location. Maybe decided it was too far away. 
He's building it towards the back, uh, I think, because he doesn't want BC just to automatically scout it, although I think he will try to. I, I think there's been a little bit of a scout skirmish, although these all have full health. Um, so this would make me believe he's probably going for professional scouts. Now, that'll cost 275 gold, and he is still working on that. I think that's certainly what he's going to be doing. Let's see if he trains up a scout or goes for a horseman first. He might do a horseman first. Oh, uh, we got a... Look at this. We've got villagers. Is this a tower rush for HRE? Now, I will say we know all about tower rushes, right? We've all know about the Mongol tower rush, which is particularly effective. And even like tower rushing French has often been a popular strategy to put tower rush with gold. But it can also be really good against the HRE because if he can knock him off gold, assuming he's going for a fast castle, which is very common for the HRE, this can be a big wrench in his game plan. Even with these two scouts, they're enough to deal damage. Look at this. So he had to... Yeah, oh, he was definitely going for professional scouts. This is going to be a tricky situation because since Spearmen are on the field for BCQ, he opened with the barracks. Um, by the way, he did get fresh food stuffs. Uh, with that second... With that barracks, there's basically nothing he could do military-wise to deny this pressure at the moment. So he's pushed off this gold. Uh, he's got another gold mine back here, which he is going for. But I'd imagine BC will scout that out and go pressure that next. So we'll have to see. Okay, so he's finished that. He can now garrison inside there. And there we go. Uh, this scout's taking a little bit of damage. Uh, and Recon is not close enough to age up at the moment. So, uh... Let's see if he's able to scout this. Now, Recon could have built a little wall segment here and prevent this, like, running around. I see a lot of players do that on this map, uh, where just, like, just to stop the player from, like, scouting. But <laughs> Actually, look at this. He's doing it right now. That's great. Uh, so imagine if he had stopped that scout. But there we go. That scout has seen uh, the gold, and will he'll probably be thinking about how can he pressure that next. He did get the arrow slits upgrade, so uh, that will shoot even without anything garrisoned in there. Um, Recon has reacted by building an archer range of his own, and archers will be a great co uh, counter to the spearmen. Let's see if BC Kitty's doing anything clever back here. There's that second town center going down on the wood line. Has six villagers building it at the moment, but no indication that he's going to go for anything else. Two villagers have stayed on gold, but he's nowhere close to aging up either. So it's just going to be a little bit more, I think, tower rushing and uh, kind of spearmen pressure. The other thing that's kind of frustrating sometimes when you're trying to do this uh, against the the HRE is the the Holy Roman Empire has this bonus where they're able to auto repair buildings that are within the network. So I think these all are connected. He could auto repair this mining camp, though he might not use it. He might not even notice or just forget. I don't think he's used it yet. Let's see if he does. Okay, that mining camp is almost dead. Is he going to repair it? Nope, he's not going to repair it. It might not. I didn't connect it. I can't really tell if it's connected. Oh, you can buy the plus on top of it. So, yeah, that was was a connected building. But uh, he didn't he didn't use the auto repair there. Okay, so we got Spearman uh, applying pressure from within that outpost. But this hasn't stopped Recon from getting his gold right now. But did force him to build some archers to slow down his fast castle. But he's picking up those hunts right now, which is a good thing for him. Okay, so BC Cutie, has got these two scouts still and a, a few uh, uh, spearmen. I don't know what he's looking for. Maybe he's looking to try to get a, a quick pop on these, these scouts right now. And he might. There we go. Dealing a lot of damage out to that scout. Uh, he might even pick one scout up here. Uh, there is a hunt. He knows that he's going for the professional scout, so he's just trying to deny this. What is this up front? Uh, it's just, okay, we got two arrow slit towers shooting. Uh... Recon was able to wall his north side. Oh, he didn't wall this yet. Okay, so BC is just trying to control this hunt right now, I think. Here comes the archers. He's not going to really have any good way to deal with those archers at the moment. He's just going to have to kind of run away from them, I think. He could, if he could get it ranged, like kill one. But yeah, those archers will be plenty. Okay, so Recon's trying to get the gold. He needs to age. He almost has the food. So I think Recon is going to get this castle age up off. And you see him dropping dropping some barracks. Uh, this certainly is probably because he's preparing for the next age and his men at arms is what I would imagine. Maybe he's a, he suspects that there's a stable down. It will build some spearmen. We'll have to see. But I don't know. I'm doubtful. But we, he might build one. I don't know. Okay, let's see what's going on back at home for BC Cutie. Look at the villager count. Uh, 40 for BC versus the 34 of Recon. 
typically the holy roman empire is able to offset any villager difference you have by capturing these relics right because if he gets three of these that's worth 900 gold in the regent's cathedral but the longer that bc is able to force recon to stay in the second age the longer that his economy is going to be more powerful um in fact but uh i think recon is going to begin this age up there he is he's building the regent's cathedral on the far left side and he's going to be going for we got one relic here one relic here so pretty favorable relic spawns in general i mean these ones are kind of far more forward but yeah these are about even and then there's this one relic kind of in the middle so honestly it might be kind of hard for him to pick up three relics here this is kind of an awkward situation he would almost need to go for that one i feel go for three maybe he'll go for the corners but that middle one's gonna be hard to get with these towers being up Okay, so even that two is powerful, right? That's 600 gold per minute. Um, he's aging up right now. He'll be able to instantly train men at arms. He'll be able to train knights. Uh, and his eco is doing just fine. BC is looking to age up as well. I imagine he'll go up with the... Co oh, he is already aging up. Okay. Man, BC has a lot of res in the bank, considering that he's currently aging. So uh, what is he going to be training here? I don't see any other military buildings. He needs to drop down some military buildings. Hmm. Oh, look at this. He's trying to wall off. So maybe he's just focused on this. He's trying to deny these relics. So if he can wall them in, uh, he, you know, he, he effectively probably knows where the relics are at this point. Hmm. I wonder why he doesn't have multiple military buildings. And if he double aged, I would just lose my mind because I don't think I've ever seen that. But he could. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? No, he's not going to do that. I doubt it. <laughs> that would be crazy. Why does he have so much food? What is going on? I'm so confused by this move. Uh, he has a ton of food. Yeah, look at this. Typically, you want to drop these down and like, have them ready to go, I guess, by the time you hit the next stage. But he has really stacked the food. What the, What in the world? Now, look at this. I said this early on. When you build your Aachen like this, you can get some farms inside of it. And look at that. That's what he was able to do. So this will be boosting those farms. Or those villagers, rather. Is he going for age four? Is he really doing that? There is no way. That would, like, I don't know. I don't think that would be valuable. That's still, like, he's still not close to it. I mean, he could. Nah, he's not going for age four. That would be crazy. He could. I, mean, I don't know. I don't even know. Expect the unexpected right now, I feel. He's training an army. He just maybe he was saving up a lot of res there. I think maybe he just kind of forgot how, how, how those villagers were working hard back at home. Okay, so Recon working on getting the relics right now. He's got one. There we go. He's got two. Okay, so that's 600 gold generation per minute. And it's nothing to laugh at. So even though he's up by... You know, not even... A, not even... I guess... I guess a decent amount of villagers to be up. 58 versus the 43. Um, those relics will help offset that, right? With that gold. And sniping his opponent's uh, deer right now. Bringing them back home. So that's some free, free food for him. BCQ, maybe. I was wondering if like, could he go for sacred sites? He technically could, but uh, we do see a mosque has been built. Don't see this a ton with the Abbasid, but he's using it to contest the relics. Maybe grab a sacred site if he can grab this one. Two. He's got three relics here. He could potentially grab. So we'll have to see if he gets them. Knights coming in. They're going to be working on sieging down that tower. They do 16 torch damage. Man arms doing a 16 torch damage as well. Hmm. I think he has done some damage by uh, preventing the HRE player from getting, I mean, likely, well, not, can't say yeah, too close to call, but he's likely prevented the three relic grab, which is good. And he's been massively up on villager count the whole game, right? And he, he forced a drawn out second age. So I would imagine that BC's eco is currently like, here's the income per minute. Um, is currently far superior. Now, look at the gold eco. This is what I tell you. I mean, Kurashi has a lot of guys on gold as well, but holy cow. Now, the the, the Holy Roman Empire can kind of do the reverse boom, right? They can get to H4, and then they can build the Palace of Swabia and instant train all those villagers. It's a crazy strong landmark. Um, some scouts out there just checking out what's going on. He's got to see all these barracks. I mean, he's got an okay standing army. I think he's just sitting back. He's like, 
Maybe he recognizes that he's in an okay spot. I don't know, because all that gold is dangerous. Like, I, I think it's too early to say that, like, BC is just clearly, like, I feel like he's ahead because of villager count, but I, uh, I never underestimate the free gold generation. Gold is just such a valuable resource late in this game. Okay, but grabbing that relic is going to be very good. If he can get that back, I think he's going to lose this scholar, but he's still going to try to get that relic. Um, here comes the army. We could have a little bit of a clash here. At least he sees what's going on. Bring this army. So we're going to have a fight here because both players are positioning. Look at this. He chased the villager. He could have killed that, uh, that imam, but was not able to do it. And it looks like BC Kitty was able to secure that relic. Okay, so uh, man at arm and crossbow versus knight, man at arm and archer. So that should be a pretty good combo. Let's see if there's any adjustments made on Rico, uh, Rico, Rico, Rico on side here as he's seen that unit comp. Man at arms and knights sticking with that comp right now. It has not uh, really got a whole lot of upgrades. He has one ranged upgrade and that's it. Okay, but now we got Mang. Now we got Siege on the field, and Beast Cutie's got a boom in economy. He's working on walling himself in so he can prevent any night raids, which that could be such a deadly part about uh, about HRE a lot of times. It's just the night raids can be so devastating. But he's preventing that with these walls. He also has one camel in here, and this is very smart. The camel right here uh, causes horse cav uh, units to deal 20% less damage. So that'll be really big. I really hate how the camels like task themselves or arrange themselves in the front of the formation because they're really more of a support unit. Like I really wish they automatically stood on the back line because they get picked off and then they're not supporting anything. So you have to manually micro those things. Here we go. A little bit of, a, of an engagement here. I don't know. The crossbow is dealing work. Uh, while the spears and man arms get on the knights, we've got a, a mangonel taking a shot, but two springholds move in and they are going to snipe that mangonel. Uh, this is uh, quite the battle right now. Down goes the mangonel. Crossbows continuing to, to, to deal out the damage. All the knights appear to be dead. Uh, those mangonel, uh, the springholds aren't very effective against uh, units themselves, and those units uh, right now, are, the, the infantry are uh, sniping off those springholds. And the crossbows still are, are a situation here. Now, but the archers are, are a great counter for the crossbows. Um, so I feel like recons, eh, I don't know. Like, how is this trade? I'd be interesting to, to tra we can look at maybe the military graph here. Let's look here. Um, units lost. Yeah, this is very even. That's what I was going to say. Like, this feels like a very even trade here. Um, technically recons, let's see. Maybe is he losing, is he going to losing villagers? No. I don't think Recon's in a very good situation. Strong situation coming out of this, but Beastie just has a superior economy, economy. So despite this maybe being an even trade, maybe this is a better fight for Beastie because he can just repop his army while it's going to be harder for the Holy Roman Empire to do so. I mean, he's queuing from all of his military buildings. He'll be fine. I would like to maybe see him get some of these upgrades. But uh, let's see what upgrades the Abbasid have. Uh... He's got a lot of them. He's getting his tier two ones right now for everything. So uh, let's see. We've got uh, a mangonel, a springald, a handful of archers, a man arms. I mean, that was a scrappy little fight there. And uh, right now, Beastie was able to grab three relics. So that's 300 gold generation. And it's a little bit. Plus, with the sacred site, that's another 100. So he's got 400 gold generation. Uh, almost matching uh, Recon, but Recon's got 600 from these two relics plus this. That is 700 gold generation. Let's take a look at the income per minute. There you can see Beastie is ahead pretty much in all categories. But honestly, considering like how many more villagers he has, it's not even that uh, like as huge as like I, I almost expected those numbers to be higher. Although they are starting to look pretty high. Um, you know, he's 600 ahead right here in food, 500 ahead. A few hundred in wood, about a hundred in, in gold, and he is also gathering stone. So, but this is still anyone's game. Uh, I wouldn't call this any direction, but I would say Beastie looking to be in a strong position just with, you know, late game, having the more powerful eco is going to be really, really crucial. Honestly, Recon has just been delayed. Ideally, you want to get to H3 really fast with HRE, and then you want to really quickly, you know, find a spot to sneak in and, and age up to four. And right now, uh, he doesn't look to be in a situation to do that at all. 
Take a site being captured right now. That'll stop some of his passive gold generation. Manganel and Man Arm it appears to be the theme of Recon's army. And uh, if Beastie makes a lot more crossbows, that could be a bit of an issue, I feel. By the way, crossbows are actually quite effective at uh, when they're able to gain range. Manganel are kind of scary, but when they take shots at siege units, they're actually uh, pretty good, especially in numbers, at taking out Springgolds and even Manganel if they're in significant numbers. You just got to be careful, of course, not to to tank a, a, a shot from the Manganel. Okay, so a little bit of a fight. A few knights out here. It does look like Recon is going to retain this Sacred Sight. Uh, maybe he'll try to capture this one, but I don't know. It looks like Beastie was trying to build a stone wall here. Look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. And uh, Recon is going to see that, in fact. So I wonder what that makes him think when he sees these stone walls. He's got to know that Beastie's kind of got him surrounded. He's got him surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Put your mangonels in the air. Wave them like you don't care. Okay, here we go. We've got uh, the infantry pushing forward for BC. And BC has a pretty significant siege mass here. Um, boy, I'm not sure that Recon has enough of a standing army at the moment. He really needs to get these numbers up. You can see he's done a good job at spending his res. I mean, that's always something you want to think about at any level, guys. Keeping res in the bank does nothing for you unless you are trying to H up. Uh, or you are like trying to maybe like later game, you have max pop or trying to save res for a specific unit. But like for Recon's case here, he's doing done a really good job at spinning his res. That's what I'm trying to highlight. It, it's good because that means you've, you've used that investment. You've got a standing army. You're going to get some kind of value out of that. Honestly, BC just has such a crazy economy right now. He has the army he wants. Uh, he's almost maxed out. So it's okay to have some extra and he's macking to age up, I believe. So that's probably why he has all that res and, I think that's what he's going to be doing. He can age up. He can just chill. He doesn't need to push in right now. And he wants to have the line of sight advantage of these keeps and towers. So he'd rather sit back uh, instead of giving like the opponent line of sight and let Sprinkles snipe your siege. You can sit back, use your line of sight, and when you see the enemy reveal their siege, you pull up your Sprinkles to target. Okay, but uh, right now, Beastie is aging up. And he is going up with the military wing, which will give him access to, most importantly, boot camp. Increase the health of all infantry by 15%. It's a huge upgrade. Not to mention the camel upgrades. What is that? <laughs> okay, we've got... Oh, uh, an offensive keep. Now, pushing while aging is a very controversial to topic. Typically, you want to wait until you're aged up and get your units teched up because this would be a shame to lose these units before they get upgraded, though. It's going to take a time for BCQD. And right now, Recon is forcing Beastie's hand at the moment. But uh, this is really interesting. We've got <laughs> Springles being sniped on both sides. Man Arms and Spearmen rushing in uh, on the back line. And uh, it looks like all the siege for both players. Now Recon still got some alive. L luckily, he got the Manganel or dead. And this has been a, a, another kind of like wild fight here. Uh, I feel like BC has probably more of his blacksmith upgrades and has a stronger army, though. Taking out the Springles. Yep. Uh, I think Recon just realized how far he was ahead. And, of course, this other keep was going to be going up probably very soon with him uh, winning this engagement. And there you go. Beastie Cutie not even needing that age up, taking the victory with the Abyssey Dynasty up against the Holy Roman Empire. Hope you enjoyed this casted game. Make sure, as always, hit that subscribe bell if you haven't already. And leave a comment below if you enjoyed the cast. It helps the algorithm. I'll see you in the next one.